Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Lejeune here. We're back at it with some Marvel's Avengers. Now today, I've been going over some of the hidden features that was in Pass 2.8, which was the last update for the game. Now, of course, this pretty much means nothing because the game is pretty much over. But from the time I got to play on that day, I've noticed some things. And this is pretty interesting for these characters because there are some things that improve the character kit. And there's some things that improves the overall gameplay for the character as well. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so for the first character that got an update is K Bishop. Now, we all know with Kate Bishop, when it comes to her ultimate, her ultimate was pretty much dog shit. I'm just being honest. It was a really trash ultimate. The only time you really use the ultimate, if you want to teleport in limited times or, but when it came to the raid, her ultimate was perfect. When it came to the crystals and when it comes to shooting Claw's eyes, so you could just get the one phase. And pretty much after that, there's really no point of her ultimate. It was really, 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 really bad. And with the last update, they added it in where you can actually do status damage with your ultimate. Yes, I'm, I'm saying that correct. You can do status damage with your ultimate with K Bishop. Now, the way it works is you have to have anything in your gear inventory that does, you know, any status damage. So it doesn't matter if it says Razor Arrow, Scattershot Arrow, it doesn't even matter. If it does any type of status on your range, it's going to count for your ultimate. And the nice thing about it, once you're in your ultimate and you do your signature move with the smoke grenade, I have it on here where I have um, shock. And once you pop your ultimate, it's going to apply the sonic as well. So you're going to do two statuses, which is one smoke grenade for not smoke grenade, but smoke Bruh. arrow for K Bishop. Now, let me show you guys this in action. So, so this is pretty much a nice feature for K Bishop. Unfortunately, it's just a little bit too late for it because the game is pretty much dead now. It's not getting nothing anymore. So let me pop my ultimate real quick and show you guys what I'm talking about. So I got the ultimate activated. Let me pop this. You see how it's doing two status effects? It does the shock from my smoke grenade for my signature attack. And it does the sonic, which is on my range. It is pretty nasty. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Now imagine this with a vibranium payload or something like that. It just amplifies this. Let me see. Could I get a could I get a vibe payload to proc? Twelve seconds later. Alrighty, so let's spawn these dudes. I'm not gonna probably get the vibe payload from this. Sheesh. That is a nasty combo. Just doing the uh the arrow, the whoop arrow, then do smoke, and then with the vibe payload, just proccing, just going crazy. That's a nasty uh, combo right there. But that's pretty much it for Kate. I mean that was pretty much the only thing they added in for her when it comes to like a, a update. So basically K Bishop ultimate is now good. Finally, it took two years and a half in the game dying for them to actually make it good. Bruh. And when she was the first DLC hero too, when you really think about it. So that's pretty much unfortunate. So that is pretty much the update when it comes to K Bishop. Let's go into Captain America. Now, when it comes to Captain America, it is very straightforward. So basically anything you have on your range for your steamroller is going to do that damage. So let's say for instance, I have vibranium on my shield. It does all range attacks do vibranium. Then that means my steamroller is going to be doing vibranium damage as well. So let me showcase it real quick for you guys. Um, this does make his steamroller more powerful now because at first it was an okay move but if it didn't have no utility to it but now i can just do vibranium damage with it that just adds a whole nother flavor to it because it does status damage now so if you got like a hawkeye or a jane spreading around statuses or like a thor with the bifrost with um you could just basically just get a limited status effect with the shield and also it generates rock orbs as well so you're pretty much chilling when it comes to Captain America. And I like the fact that they're making them, they made him more, a little bit more valuable. But like I said, for K Bishop, it's pretty much kind of too late, bro. Cause the game is already, <laughs> it's dead. <Bruh>. So it's, <laughs> it's hard, it's hard to look at this and be happy for it because this should have been a thing and this stuff we've been asking for, but it took for the game to die for us to finally get what we wanted, which is very, very unfortunate <laughs> when you really think about it. All right, there we go. So we got a vibe payload. Let's use it and see. Yep, it's doing the battery damage. 
<laughs> yup, it, it is it is nasty. I do have to say that. It, it is very nasty the way you could do this. Oh man, this this is so unfortunate. But yep, that is Captain America. Now let's get on to Thor and Jane. Alrighty, so when it comes to Thor, this is basically going over the nanite system that was added in Clone Labs for him. So if you didn't know, um, there are certain gear pieces that give you nanites if you do a certain type of move for that character. So this one right here, when I defeat a pen enemy, it gives me 15 plasma for my hero. So we're gonna equip this real quick. Now, the thing is that is very, very nasty about this. If you get nanites on any other, well, just Thor and Jane, when you activate Warrior's Fury, the initial hit is going to uh, apply the status effect with the nanites. Then once you finish the animation for Warrior's Fury, it's going to do another hit for the nanites. It's going to fully apply the status to every enemy that was in that area that was near you. And if you got plasma, you're going to be automatically doing better damage with the shock that he does with Warrior's Fury. So it is pretty good. So let's showcase it real quick. All right. So you see, I'm about to go forward to him. You see the initial hit hit. And you see how it just does the, the full status right there. So pretty much I just applied plasma to them and they, I didn't even really do anything. All I did was just activate Warrior's Fury. So that's pretty much how it works. Um, I want to get to the big group of enemies. I'm probably going to skip it till we get to those so you can really see this in effect. So yeah, I'm about to do a little tile skip. 12 seconds later. All right, so we finally got to the big dudes. So let's get them all grouped up in the area so we, you can really see this going to full effect. So this is, this seems like a little good little area. Let them all come close. All right, so watch all these enemies get hit with the plasma that nice just from Warrior's Fury. It's about to be insane, I promise. Look at this. They all got plasma because they were just surrounded by me. Now they just about to, they about to get hit by the Warrior's Fury. They about to just keep getting hit. And you know, of course I got the unlimited abilities right now, but you can get your abilities back super fast in this game. So you see how I'm just automatically applying plasma to these dudes if they are near me. And you already know what plasma, uh, if you, you already know what plasma, if there's an enemy that's already aff affected by plasma and there's enemies surrounding them, they can pretty much just spread plasma all over the place. So you pretty much just got a whole like status effect that could just spread to everywhere. So that is pretty much it for Thor. Now the same thing does apply to Jane. Um, once you do Warrior's Fury, if you got any nanites, you know, depending on what you're rocking with, you do Warrior's Fury and then the second hit will fully apply the status. So yeah, that is pretty much it when it comes to Thor. So let's get on to the head honcho, the main Hulk. And I just have to say, they just, they made him even more stronger. So let's get into it. So when it comes to Hulk, honestly, this has to deal with plasma nanites as well. And just the whole nanite system. Hulk is literally like the best character that can benefit from plasma nanites or just nanites in general. Like he is literally, I feel like it's pretty much made for him, but just cause how much it works well with him. But just to give you a little bit of glimpse of what I'm talking about. So I have on my heroic slot right here, we're doing a thunderclap gives me 15 plasma nanites. So with plasma, if to, just to put y'all on some game real quick, for some reason, plasma and Hulk, especially with other, which depending on his range piece that he has on, it just automatically applies it. And it's been like this for the longest. If you remember back in the day, if you had anything on your plasma, if you had, I think it was Sonic, I think it was Sonic. Uh, no, it was plasma and gamma. If you had uh, plasma power attacks and gamma on your range, for some reason, if you hold rage while you're doing your ground pound, it will apply plasma and stat and gamma at the same time. So the way it works now, it's pretty much the same thing. It's just a little bit different because you get plasma nanites just from doing your thunderclap. And the same thing is going to apply. You do your power attacks, you're going to be applying gamma and you're going to be applying cryo as well. So it's pretty cheesy. I'm going to be honest. And that's what makes it so good on Hulk. Oh, and another thing as well that um, I'm probably going to end up showing you in this one. All of Hulk abilities do um, status damage with the nanites. So his thunderclap, his stranglehold, his bone shaker all applies with nanites. So it is stupid 
how much this really works for Hulk. Let me go over here. So let me let me do that real quick so they can come closer. So look, you see how they get hit with gamma, and they got uh, plasma on them, and vibranium. You see how that's working, right? I'm not even doing nothing. All I'm doing now is just holding down my rage and is applying the gamma, plasma, and vibranium. Now, if you really want to make it, if you really want to get saucy with it, you can do your light combo attacks or your power attacks, and that's going to be another status effect that you could do with it. So let me uh, do it. Real, let me stack up on my nanites. So let's do this. Make them come into the thing. All right. So you see how he's getting hit. And you see how I got the plasma on it, right? So let's do it with the power attacks. You see how I instantly uh, just applied cryo. I mean, it, it is a, a fire, a fire enemy. So they're going to instantly get that cryo. So we can't really count this one. I'm going to wait till we get to the next set of enemies before we count anything. All right. So let's do power attacks. It took one. It took two hits just to fully apply all the statuses. Now look at this. I just got statuses going everywhere. He got it. He got it. They all got it. Like it's just nothing but status damage. Wall. Oh my God. That was nasty. Oh, that was nasty. Oh, I was not expecting nothing but status damage. Wall is. Oh my God. That was nasty. Holy, that was nasty. <laughs> that was nasty. So you see how I'm about to do my bone shaker and it's taken away from my plasma to look like each of the hits I'm doing. You see how I just did plasma right there. So let me hold down my rage while doing it. See, look, I hold down rage while doing bone shaker and it fully applied. It fully applied the plasma status to him like I'm telling you, bro, like Hulk is super. He is like, he is amazing with applying status effects. It's stupid. Overall, that's pretty much it when it comes to the whole thing with Hulk and just overall all the other characters. No, now those are the only ones that has gotten an update. Now there is one character that did get an update, but I'm going to say that for another video. I'm just going to let you know this now just to give you a little bit of a hint use cryo that's all i'm gonna say that if you if you know what i'm saying then you already know the hero what i'm talking about but that's pretty much it for today's video let me know if this has helped you out if you're looking forward to doing this if you're still playing the game um i don't know if i'm i'm not playing the game like that to be honest since the game has ended and i pretty much got my main hulk to 185 in the build that i want for him so I'm pretty much just playing other stuff, but it is what it is. Uh, I'm gonna still play it here and there just to relive the old times, but hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video as I enjoyed making it. Before we head out, if you're not, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to turn on post notifications and miss a video and always be notified when I upload a video. And most importantly, make sure you guys hit that like button. So join here and I'm gone. Peace.